Hi everybody, Ben here from Visual Dev FM, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use the Webflow WordPress plugin. So, I have a WordPress site set up, and I've already installed the Pages plugin. So, if you use WordPress at all, you'll know that you can come into your installation, come down to the plugin section, search for Webflow, and then you should be able to install this. Now, when you first pull this up, you'll see just this welcome message um, on the sidebar. Whenever you come to it, it's going to bring you initially to uh, this uh, welcome page. It's, you know, I'm not going to read all this to you, but it's kind of a welcome. You have a button with a link that goes to the Webflow University. So um, that T kind of walks you through like the overview of here's how to use this plugin. Um, uh, Webflow API to use this plugin. You need to generate your Webflow API key. You need to go to your Webflow dashboard. So, um, Got a link there. Um, you know, do you need help? Contact Webflow support. And then settings. Uh, you can set all the Webflow pages, static and CMS, and WordPress and configure in advanced settings. So what we want to do is we want to come to the settings tab. Now before we can do anything, we have to have an API key. So how do we get that? Well, I'm going to go to the Visual Developers website that is built in Webflow. And I'm gonna to go to integrations. And on the integrations page, I can come all the way down and I would click generate a new API token. So I've pasted in my API key. You can't see it here, but I'm gonna click add that. And then, so now it has connected to the site that I'm using. So you can see here, this is my site. So let's say I wanted the home page of my WordPress site to pull up the home page of my Visual Dev FM site, which looks like this. So I want this, you know, to be this. How would I do that? Well, in my Webflow page settings, I can choose, I've got all these pages that, that are populated. It shows me all the pages here. I say, oh, home page. And then I could just hit the plus button. So now this rule is saved successfully. So this home page is going to go to the home page. And so um, I should be able to just come back to my site, refresh, and now that same site is pulling up the Visual Dev FM homepage. It's pretty cool, right? Um, and I can jump around and do this for different paths. So I could say, uh, you know, uh, maybe I wanted to have freebies and I've built that. I could say, you know, slash freebies. Uh, and so that way, that's save two. So when I come back over here, this is the same. This isn't, you know, this is a, a WordPress site. This is not a Webflow site, right? But I could say freebies. And now it's going to pull up that freebies page from the podcast site and place it right here in my WordPress site which is really cool um, so I can kind of map just different directories over to different pages and I can do this with static pages <clears throat> all that fun stuff but I can also use my collections here so um, on the visual dev FM site we have uh, episodes so listen and you could say you know here is the webflow WordPress plugin page so we can open that up. So slash episodes. So let's jump back in here. Slash episodes. And we would want to then put in this right here. And then you can choose which collection you want to map to it. So I'm just going to say episodes. And then boom. So I've saved that now. And if I come back here, all I would want to do is just copy this part, right? I'm going to copy this and come back over to my Webflow site. Um, so this is my Webflow site, and I'm just going to paste this in. And so now it's pulling even my collection pages over. You see my comments aren't loading because this is not an improved domain. But it's pulling my content straight over, and, and it works just like it would. And I could switch this with different episodes, and all these episodes would be available. So what this means is in my WordPress uh, area when I'm setting up my templates in my menu I would just go through and set links 
to whatever, you know, I want this to be, whatever my paths are. And then I can map these essentially to Webflow pages on a Webflow site. Now you'll notice uh, I don't have any made in Webflow here. That is because on my project, I have hosting and I have a custom domain, which is something you're going to want to do. So, and, you know, if you're using this for yourself, maybe it's one of those things where um, you want to, um, maybe it's one of those pieces where, you know, you can just put like testing dot your domain or dev dot your domain and you can turn off, you know, the SEO. So it's not being found and then you can use it with your WordPress site. Um, so one thing this doesn't do, so people typically get in here and they're like, oh, it's going to import my content or sync content back and forth between, you know, WordPress and Webflow. That's not what this is meant to do, and it's not what it will do. This is just meant for you to be able to essentially reverse proxy or pull in a page um, on a WordPress site. And so that way, when you're on your WordPress site, you can actually show a Webflow page. So if you're, if you're looking to um, work in WordPress or you have a client who doesn't want to leave WordPress, but they want some custom development done, you can do that development in a Webflow and then you can bring that into the WordPress site. And so you get the, the best of both worlds. If they, if they can't leave, that's okay. I can still develop visually with Webflow and pull that into the site um, and use it. So hopefully this is helpful, just a quick overview of how that works some things to note and like I said you need to in order to not have a badge down here that says made in webflow you need to have to add in a, a custom domain and a hosting plan and um, e-commerce is not compatible so if you want to use webflow e-commerce with a WordPress site that's not available yet and so um, but this is just kind of the basics of how you get this going and how you can use it with your WordPress site if you have any questions feel free to reach out we'll do the best that we can to help you